Welcome to homecampus.com.sg Well, in this lesson we will learn how you compare numbers, compare two or more numbers. So after comparing, you'll see how to arrange numbers in, in a certain fashion. Like, you know, going from the smallest to the biggest or the biggest to the smallest. And in the end, we will see how to identify, how we learn how to identify patterns in a given series of numbers. Okay, so let's get started with number comparison first. Well, number comparison is pretty simple, so I'm not going to dig too deep into it. But uh, we'll first uh, just try to understand how comparison happens, whether you do it mentally or whether you do it uh, uh, using a pen and paper. You, you, there are a few steps that you go through, and we'll see how we'll see we'll uh, just recall and we'll do what you really do when you compare two numbers. Okay. So give me two numbers. Let's say we have two small numbers like 25 and 4. So when you do comparison, what you do first, the first thing that you do is you check how many digits each of the two numbers that, are you com that you're comparing have. So in the first number, we have two digits. So you write that down. Okay, so this is two digits and this is one digit. Now obviously, 2 is more than 1, so 25 becomes greater, 25 is greater than 4. Well, I'm not sure if uh, you have been introduced to this symbol, but this is the greater than symbol. Okay, or you could also say that 4 is less than 25. This is the less than symbol. Okay, so 25 is greater than 4, or 4 is less than 25. But how about if we had uh, two numbers that had equal number of digits? So say you had something like 25 and you had 42. This guy here, the top here, has got two digits. The bottom number has also got two digits. But how do you do comparison now? Well, in that case, how you do comparison is you start from the digit the digits in the left okay so you say you take the digits the two digits in the left and you check which of them is bigger or smaller okay you compare them so two is smaller than four the two here is smaller than the four here so your number 25 becomes smaller than 42 so you would write 25 is less than 42 or you could also write 42 is greater than 25 Okay, that's how you do comparison. You start, you must start, you must always start from the left. Okay, you compare the number, the sorry, the digits in the left place first. Okay, what if you have, uh, by mistake, compared the digits uh, starting from the right? See, if you had compared, say, 5 and 2 first, instead of comparing 2 and 4, what would happen? You would see that 5 is bigger than 2 and you would have wrongly said, oh, this number has got to be bigger than this number. But that's not right. 25 is not bigger than 42. This is incorrect. So you must remember that always uh, start your comparison from, from the left. Okay, left digit to and move on to the right. So let me take one more example. How about we just how about we just start with bigger numbers now? Okay, so let's say let's see we have um, 5, 2, 7, 8, 3, 1. 5, 2, Six five nine nine six eight three one two seven and four one two one one three. These are the four numbers that I've been given, and I have been told to first compare them and see which one is the smallest, which one is the biggest, and then after that we will see what else we can do with this. Okay. So let's first find out which one is the biggest. Okay. Now each of these, each of these four numbers has got six digits each. So we cannot compare based on number of digits. So what we do now is we start with the guys in the left place, the left digits. These are in fact, these, these are actually in the hundred thousands place. So we start uh, comparing the guys in the hundred thousands place. Now, which one is the biggest here? It's quite obvious that 6 is the biggest. So, 6, 8, 3, 1, 2, 7 
becomes the biggest number. So we write that down here. This is the biggest. So that's taken care of. How about we compare the uh, remaining three numbers? Okay, so we compare the remaining three numbers and we see that now we have a 5 and a 5 and a 4. Well, now you have the next bigger number is 5 and 5. But 5 and 5 are the same, so you cannot compare. What do you do now? Well, so you, what you do is you move on to the next digit. In the next digit, in the 10,000th place, is 2 and 2. Again, 2 and 2 are the same, so you cannot compare and you move on to the guys to the right of that. The guys to the right of that is the guys in the 10,000th place. Oh, sorry, the guys in the thousands place. And here we have 7 and 6. Now, 7 is bigger than 6. So, the second biggest number becomes 5, 2, 7, 8, 3, 1. So, I write that down here. This is the second biggest number. It's actually pretty simple. You, you might have been able to do this mentally even uh, before or as soon as I wrote the, the numbers down. But just for the sake of uh, the lesson, we will, we will go through the steps. Okay? Uh, anyway, so the so since this is the bigger of the two numbers, this becomes the smaller of the two numbers, and we write that down that this is the third biggest number. So all that's left is four one two one one three, and that becomes the smallest. Okay, so we have compared four numbers, and we found out which one is the biggest, which one is the second biggest, which one is the third biggest, and which one of them is the smallest. Now, what can we do with this? How about we arrange these four numbers? in an order. So when you say arrange the numbers in an order, there are two things that you can do. You can either arrange them starting from the biggest to the smallest or you can start from the smallest and line them up till you reach the biggest. So this one is called from biggest to smallest is called decreasing order. Just write decreasing. Decreasing because the numbers are decreasing. Okay, you start from the biggest and then they decrease, decrease, decrease till you reach the smallest. The second pattern, the second order is called smallest to the biggest and it's called increasing order. Okay, increasing means that you start from the smallest number and you uh, put bigger, 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 bigger numbers till you reach the biggest number. Okay. So let's take the the, the four numbers that uh, we just uh, uh, that we just worked with, and let's find out. Let's put them. Let's arrange these four numbers in a decreasing order. So we start from the biggest. Okay, decreasing order is starting from the biggest. So the biggest number here is six eight three one two seven. So we would write down six eight three one two seven. Next, second biggest is five. Two seven eight three one. Third biggest is five two six five nine nine, and the smallest is four one two one one three. So that's your decreasing order because six eight three one two seven is the biggest, and then go down down down, and this becomes the smallest. This is the smallest. So this is your decreasing order. Now, if you had to write these four numbers in the increasing order, you would just reverse the pattern. So the numbers would come in this order: four, one, two, one, one, three. Then five to six, five, nine, nine. Then five to seven, eight, three, one. And then six, eight, three, one, two, seven. Okay, that would give you the increasing order. Well, so that's that about uh, uh, about number ordering. Uh, if you if you practice more, you learn more. So just go and do some more practice, and that will make you perfect. But these are just numbers that have been haphazardly taken, just randomly taken anyhow. How about we do numbers next that are not haphazardly taken there, but that have a certain pattern to them. Okay. Okay, so what I've got here is a number line. Okay, so I draw the number line here. And then we place a few numbers on this line. Okay, the number line grows in both directions. So we have say 500,000 and 50. Then we have 600,000 and 50. Then we have 700,000 and 50. Then we have one blank space here, a box, blank box, then another blank box. And how about we have 
another blank box here, okay? So we have three blank boxes and we want to find out what goes into each of these blank boxes. So first let's try to see the numbers. Let's try to uh, understand how the numbers are uh, uh, growing on the number line, okay? So I take this number 500,050 and I take the number 600,050, okay? So let me put 600,050 and then put 500,000 and 50 under it. How about I subtract th these two numbers because that's the easiest way. So I subtract these two numbers and what I get is 100,000. So that should mean that going from here to here on the number line, my number increases by 100,000. So 600,050 is 100,000 more than 500,050. Okay, how about we make sure that this is what, this is in fact the pattern. So we take the next number, 700,050, and we subtract 600,050 from it. Let's see what we get now. We still get 100,000. So we have confirmed that actually this is what the pattern is. When going from 600,050 to 700,050, the number increases by 100,000. So the pattern is add 100,000 to get the next number. Okay, so how about we add 100,000 here and that will give us the next number in the number line. So we add 100,000 to this and after that we get 800,050. We add another 100,000 to this new number and we get the next number and the next number would be 950. How about on the other side? What will you do on the other side to get this number? Well, if you get uh, moving from right, the left to right, you add 100,000 to get the ne next number. Then obviously moving from right to left, you would subtract 100,000 to get the uh, number to the left. So you subtract 100,000 and you get 400,000. And 50. So that's the pattern. Going from left to right, you add 100,000, and going from right to left, you subtract 100,000 to get the number. So that's the pattern. But there's another way of doing, uh, of finding out the pattern instead of uh, just adding and subtracting. What we do is, okay, we make our place value table that we're so familiar with. Okay, here is my place value table ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. 10,000 and 100,000. See, that's the beautiful thing. There's no one single way or single method of uh, getting to the right answer. There are several ways of, uh, of getting to the right answer. So we have been given 500,050. And the next number that we have been given is 600,050. And the next number is 700,000. And 50. So if you look at this table here, I think this should this should make it very obvious that the only digit that's changing is the guy in the hundred thousands place. First the guy was 50, then sorry, first the guy was five, then it became six, and then it became seven. The rest of the digits were unchanged. So obviously after seven, the next guy would be eight, and after eight, the next guy would be nine. So nothing will change except the guy in the hundred thousands place. Okay, let me move all this a little up because there's no place down here. Five to six is one, six to seven is one, seven to eight is one. So this is obviously one. Okay, the difference is one. How about here? The difference is zero. Thousands difference is zero. Hundreds difference is zero. Tens is zero and ones is also zero. So my pattern is plus one hundred thousand. To get to the next number, I just add 100,000 to it. And how about uh, this 400,050? How about this, this blank here? Well, for this blank here, obviously, I go up and I subtract 1 to get 4. And the rest of the numbers, the rest of the digit, digits stay the same. So this will be 0, this will be 0, this will be 0, this will be fine. And that will be 0. Well, that's it. That's how you do pattern recognition. Okay, the more you practice, the perfect you'll get. So for practice exercises, visit www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.